What's up guys? This is Sound of Jordan here and we are back once again with some more Transformers news. All of a sudden, quite random actually, this happened around 7 o'clock p.m. and I'm just now recording it and well, we are here to talk about the Transformers franchise once again, the live action series. And as you guys can clearly see from the title headline and the title of this video, two new Transformers movie will be produced simultaneously. That's right guys, this is actually official news, not like rumors or anything along those lines. This is official news, as you guys can clearly see right here. Entertainment news site Variety is reporting a wonderful news for the Transformers live action movie fans. According to the news, two brand new movies are being penned to be produced simultaneously. Written by James Vanderbilt and Joby Harold, the sources say they present an opportunity to build up multiple storylines within the franchise. Paramount is currently seeking out directors and a fresh new cast for the movies. The studio is looking to revamp the movie franchise. James Vanderbilt was the script writer for The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, as well as Zodiac. Um, that is a bit concerning, especially with Amazing Spider-Man 2. However, I'll get I'll, I'll get into that a bit more after I read the article. Joby Harold is best known for his work on King Arthur Legend of Sword. He's currently working on a script for DC's Universe of Flash. Deadline denotes that the movie will contain the story for Transformers Bone while the other will focus on Beast Wars. So, two birds, one stone, and that is pretty darn good. As you guys already know, there were, there were many talks in regards of the future of the Transformers franchise and what's going to be happening with it. As you guys already know, the Transformers re I said re, but the Transformers franchise has pretty much rebooted itself. There's no more of the Michael Bay universe, and the Bumblebee movie is actually the start of a brand new franchise slash universe, whatever you guys want to call it. And at the end of Transformers Bumblebee, as you guys can recall, the Autobots crash down onto Earth, and you know, it looks like things are about to happen, and that's what's going to be happening with the sequel to Transformers Bumblebee. They're going to be continuing off of what happened at the end of Bumblebee, and it's pretty much going to be, as I see all the time, a live-action G1 movie. It's pretty much going to continue along the lines of the the Bumblebee story. The Autobots are now on Earth, and the Decepticons are probably coming to Earth. Perhaps they will introduce Megatron. As you guys already know, there were leaked images of Megatron reportedly being inside the Transformers Bumblebee movie so I'm pretty happy about that if it turns out to be true and it looks like we're going to be getting a fresh new story of the Transformers series it looks like everything pertaining to Michael Bay will be erased now of course I did enjoy the Michael Bay series but of course this is a brand new decade we need to start fresh start new things for the Transformers franchise and let's get it back onto the main spotlight so I'm pretty darn happy about that we actually have a Transformers franchise happening again and it looks like it's going to be a nice foundation we have a nice first movie and all they have to do is simply build upon that new story that new foundation whatever you guys would like to call it so i'm pretty happy about that they're going to be continuing off from bumblebee the movie we also have a beast wars film now keep in mind i was never a huge fan of beast wars me personally however i do respect it as a staple among the transformers community it's highly praised and it's highly you know critically acclaimed if that if I even said that correctly, but um, yeah, pretty much everyone loves Beast Wars within the Transformers community and 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 what it stands for and just everything along along those lines. Like I said, I wasn't too much of a fan of it, and I can't really say much of it. I do know what it means to the Transformers community. I know that Beast Wars is is a huge part of the Transformers franchise, and the fact they're actually making a live action movie for it is quite interesting makes me wonder that what's what's going to be their approach for it how are they going to introduce this to the general audience because the transformers community they're familiar with the beast wars franchise but does the general audience know about the transformers beast wars universe we only know at least to the general audience standpoint that they know that transformers are robots that transform into vehicles and of course there are dinobots but the whole beast wars lore that's a bit it's it's a bit scary to jump into especially if you're a new fan so you know this could be an interesting opportunity whether to have a brand new fan base for the beast force transformers whatever you guys like to call it or perhaps this is going to be a little shaky for paramount and hasbro as they're trying to introduce a brand new type of lore into the live action big screen so it can either work or it can either fail it doesn't it, we don't know but you know, it's interesting that they're actually going to be doing this. They're actually putting, you know, full throttle into this. And I'm looking forward to it regardless because I will be watching both because we're all Transformers fans here. So that doesn't matter. Regarding the actual script writers, though, 
uh, we have James Vanderbilt and Joby Harold. Now, I do not know much about Joby Harold's work. Um, I haven't watched King Arthur Legend of the Sword, so feel free to tell me. I will look up the movie, however, but I feel that from an actual watcher's standpoint, I could get more insight. But James v Vanderbilt, I've watched The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. And now The Amazing Spider-Man 1, don't get me wrong, um, I enjoy that movie a lot. However, with The Amazing Spider-Man 2, there were a lot of questionable decisions. However, I cannot make him be held accountable for the whole situation because I do know Sony tends to be a bit a bit complicated to work with, especially with how they handle their films. And, you know, maybe James Vanderbilt was limited on what he can do, creatively speaking. So I can't really criticize him too much. However, this does, you know, you know it does keep me cautiously optimistic, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much the news for today, guys. We actually have a good source of news today, and I'm pretty darn happy about it. Which movie are you more excited about, though? Are you excited more about Beast Wars, or are you excited more about Transformers Bumblebee 2? Or maybe it's going to be called Transformers um, 1990, as that rumor was, you know, once calling it. Did I even say that properly? I don't know. But let me know what you guys are more excited about, the Beast Wars movie or the Bumblebee sequel. Let me know. Um, I would love to have a nice discussion with you guys. This is very interesting. Hasbro is taking a risky approach with Beast Wars, in my opinion. But, of course, they also have the safe approach with having the sequel to Bumblebee 2. My question is, which one's going to be coming out first? Me, personally, I'm hoping for Bumblebee 2 because I'd like to see the story. I'd, I'd like to see the story of that finishing properly. I don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah. Anyways, like I said, leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to have a nice discussion. I will leave my Twitter link inside the description. If you guys would like to have a, uh, you know, Transformers discussion on Twitter or in YouTube, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Nonetheless, this is Sam Jordan here. Peace. Later, and I'll see you guys in the next Transformers video. I'm about to have a lovely, awesome, splendid day. I love you all. Mwah, mwah.